Hello and welcome to another episode of Stacking Triggers. I'm Bill and I'm here in Modern this week uh, running a Boros Convoke list uh, that Dan sent me. Dan sent me this Boros Convoke list. It's kind of spicy. Uh, you have a lot of uh, just a lot of plays to be able to do on turn one, right? Like you get a whole bunch of Ornithopters and Midmites and, and stuff like that. You can go ahead and, and get your Knight Errant or Luxodons out. There's it's also running a play set of Esper Sentinels for some taxing, a little bit of novice inspector, gleeful demolition, the Bo goblin bushwhackers, Cadolta Rebirths, uh Volden Epicures, the Novice and Thraben Inspectors is nice, although there's just a weird split between the two. Like I'm not sure here what's going on. Like <laughs> Uh, this is just a random list that we saw in, in kind of one of the dumps. Um, a flash plus one plus one is kind of nice, like force of virtue. It's an enchantment that you you can just exile a white card from hand and then you get it. Uh, otherwise you pay four mana. Uh, pretty cool though um, to be able to just do that for free for the most part. Uh, you got also Knight Errant, of course. Uh, because you should be able to just hit everything in your list since you don't have any two drops or anything like that. Uh, and then you have the Verdant Luxodon sideboard. You have uh, this thingy for like burn protection. You have silence to stop combo. Uh, you have Containment Priest. Um, let's see here. So this would stop things like uh, Court of Calling. Uh, this, I think also would stop stuff from being cast from the side, uh, exile or something. Oh, right, yeah, so this would stop um, rhinos and such. Uh, this relic boy here, um, enchantment, hate, whatnot. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place. But, yeah, uh, let's just kind of get into the league and see where it goes, and I will talk to you in a minute. Okay, and we have found our first match. Uh, this does not look like a promising hand, though. No turn one plays, so we're just going to mulligan that. Much better. We got a Thraven Inspector, Esper Sentinel, Gleeful, Bushwhack. Everything looks good here. Uh, so we'll keep that. Uh, and I say we probably put back the Cadaltha Rebirth. Because if they start playing something, we can at least destroy it with our Gleeful. And, alright, an Epicure. Let's try to keep it a seek. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play the Esper Sentinel. So that way we can maybe get some card draw. Yeah, Esper Sentinels, I think it's good. Everybody's running the Surveil Lands. <laughs> oh, this person has no idea what's about to hit them. Uh, what's nice is we can Thraben Inspector out and then Gleeful the uh, next thing. Ooh. Oh, we get to Knight Errant? I think we get to Knight Errant this turn. All right, so let's throw even inspector. This, <laughs> uh, this this might throw them for a loop. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll play our land. Uh, let's gleeful. We're building a board pretty quick. And where are they fatal pushing? Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna pay for it. So that they just wasted a piece of removal on the Esper Sentinel. Uh, we, okay, so now we can't we can't Knight Errant right now. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we can Knight Errant next turn, or we can Bushwhack. Ah, Orcish. Bow masters. That's unfortunate. 
Uh, we can still Knight Errant. It's just not as potent. Uh, do, do, do. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, another Esper Sentinel and we'll Epic here. And we shuffle the library. Keep our hands reloaded. Uh, next turn can be interesting. Yeah, let's see here. All right, so what are you going to play? So now you get your constructs. Oh, but you're floating mana instead. Is this just Rakdos? Oh, no, this is probably... Um, an NT Asmo. Okay. Discard your Emrakul. What? What? I had no idea that there was a instant speed. Cool. When you cast it, though. Okay, well. Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's just the freaking game. That's. Let's begin sideboarding. Uh. Yeah, containment priest comes in here. And I think uh, that was that was spice that they threw at us. Uh, I think we go down the force of virtues here. <sighs> that that just that broke my soul seeing that. Um, let's go down one. Oh uh, no, I I think it's the rebirth we go down on. Yeah, I would like to try to go first. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. Turn one, Thraven Inspector. If we get another land, we can have a turn two Knight Errant. So, let's see, they mulligan to six. That was that was just a crazy combo. Let's see what happens here. So it'll be three, four, five. Yeah, I need one more land. Yep, they're gonna crack it. Are you just gonna fatal push it now? Oh, Thoughtseize. Okay. Well, we have plenty of backup stuff, so it doesn't matter to me. Right? Like, they can't... They can't stop me. Yeah. They just took the backup three of Inspector, which would have probably been... If I don't get a land, probably would have been my next play. <laughs> I think Esper Sentinel's next. We'll just get in for one. Yeah, so now next turn, if we can gleeful, we can we can do the knight errant thing. Damn, they just they just have that fatal push each and every time, man. Alright. Land, please. Sacred Foundry works. Uh, let's do ours. Play the red life. Now we can Knight Errant. There we go. Knight Errant comes out. Uh... 
Let's go ahead and grab the Novice Inspector in one Mem Knight. Uh, let's hold the Mem Knight out. Because right, we don't know what they're going to pop next. They might just do their Gorya's Vengeance thing. All right, all right. Bushwhacker would be nice. Cool. Cool story, bro. Just Legion's End, huh? It's like this guy is built to, to mess with my deck, huh? Huh, okay. So let's go ahead... I think we have the Raven Inspector here. And we can do another thing. And then we can Menmite. Then we can do the Knight Errant. White. One, two, three, and four. Let's reload. Let's grab a Whacker. I kind of want to do another Errant. And now we can attack. All right, they're down to eight. So assuming they don't have a wrath, we can wreck the board out pretty good. Hey, we just did it. Okay, I think we keep the same plan. We keep the containment priests and the silence. And I think we'll be good here. So let's just kind of keep it the way it is. Run it back. Uh, I just I think I have to be a little more aggressive with my mulligan. So we'll see here what they pick to do. Uh, we got the bushwhacker, Aaron. Oh man, this is such a good opening, though. <laughs> um I think we just do we just keep it. I think this is fast enough maybe. You know, they, they might have a thought seize. They can they can disrupt us a bit. Uh but we'll see what they what they get. Okay, so they're not opening on the thought seize, so that's good. Boom. White. Boom. All right, next turn, we got a Knight Errant. All right, so they're just, everybody just doing this surveil thing. They put this random dude in there. Hmm. Okay, and so they're gonna kill my inspector. Which is fine, kill the inspector. Um, how do I do this? So I can one, two, three, four, and five, and reload. Okay. We can do this. Let's go ahead and shock it in. Actually, no. If I novice inspector, right, we novice inspector. We Demolition. We Men Knight. Now we can cast this. All right, there, max value, reload the hand. Oh! Let's get the Verdant and another Knight. I like it. All right, cool. So we're 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 moving along here. All right. So are they just going to do it again? Okay. So no, they they put a. <laughs> okay, they're gaining three life. That's kind of fun. What we draw? Inspiring Vantage comes in untapped. All right. So. That'd be what? Uh, each gets plus two, plus, or plus one, plus O. Oh. Uh, so that'd be what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
15 damage. Uh, I don't like that just yet. Hmm. Let's kind of do this. One, two, three, four, and let's tap that one. Plus one, plus one counters on that stuff. Uh, and then let's swing with the Knight Errant. Right now the sweepers actually have to do something. One, two, three, four. We can't do that. Uh, yeah, let's just pass. Uh, hopefully we don't regret just passing there. I have that bushwhacker in hand. Okay, they just pass with everything open like that. Oh, that's another Mem Knight. Um, let's cast the Mem Knight. <sighs> this is a lot of damage if we just kick this Bushwhacker. I kind of want to just do that. Let's just try. Let's just like. I think we have to go for it. And then just. Oh, we got him. We got them. I don't know what deck they were on, um, but just the sheer board size is fantastic here. Um, I probably overextended, but I think the gamble war uh, worked right because, like, you know, this is what turn four and we're killing them. Um, okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still got we still got four more matches to go, but let's see. Let's see what we can do next, and I will talk to you all in the next match. All right, and we are in match number two, running Boros Convoke in Modern. Uh, and it's looking pretty good. I'm looking pretty good right now. Uh, lots of turn one plays here. We don't have any Convoke creatures, but we can draw into them. We have eight total, right? So let's go ahead, just run Esper Sentinel out. Try to get some taxation going if we can get some extra card draw. I'd rather have that right now than the uh, Thraven Inspector. Not to mention I can Thraven Inspector and Kadaltha Rebirth next turn along with Mem Knights. So. Let's see what we get. It would be nice to see the Knight Errant. A Mishra's Factory. Ooh, interesting. What queue am I in? All right. All right, so let's go ahead, sacrifice that, grab Sacred Foundry, shock it. <laughs> let's see. Let's go ahead and do the Volden Epicure. And I say we could Dolph a Rebirth right now onto the Blood Token. All right, now just get them for one with the Esper Sentinel, I guess. I don't know what plays Mishra's Factory, though. All right, at least we have a beatdown plan right now. I think I kind of want to hold back these creatures. Force of Despair? Destroy all creatures that entered the battlefield this turn. How how are they just prepared to pay for my Esper Sentinel every time? I'm glad we held back a little bit, though. Mono Black deck. Force of Despair. Who who runs this? Is this a mono um like mono black discard? Like that's just <laughs> That's aggravating. Come on. Give me a Convoke. Okay, Convoke Creature works. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, and then there's, okay, we got it. We got it here. So let's go ahead and Thraben. Uh, 
I need them to not kill anything, though. Okay, cool. So we can we can pay for it all. Do 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 a do a do a do a do a do a do. All right. Uh. Okay. I can't attack this turn. I don't know what's going on here, why you animated that. Okay. What queue am I in? It's 12.50 my time. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. <laughs> it's a mono black deck, huh? They're probably running. We'll take out two Kadaltha rebirths here. That weird. That was a weird like. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, this queue just feels weird, man. We had that, that weird food deck. Or it looked like it was a food deck. Like an inti food, then they just didn't draw the inties or any of the other engines. And then there was, like, this this black deck running Force of Despair. I don't think I've ever seen that card in my life. Why, why would you just randomly have that? <laughs> That's just insane to me. Just randomly have that. <sighs> my, oh my. Boros Convoke, though, man. Uh, we do not, we would have to draw into a lot. I want to kind of mulligan that. Uh, that's what, one, two, three, four, yeah, we can keep this. Uh, put back one of the knights. The reason I think this is a keep over the other one is it's got a less few top end parts. Uh, cool. All right. Mana value three or less. So they can take the Esper Sentinel, the Ornithopter, the Bushwhacker, or the Memnite. They can't take a payoff card. Inquisition's good though. I mean, you can you can just look at it. You can look at the deck. All right. Yeah, Bushwhacker's probably a good hit to take. Especially if they have something to deal with the Esper Sentinel. Uh, one, two, three, four. We are one short. We can Knight Errant next turn, though, assuming they don't kill the Esper Sentinel. They might have a fatal push, though. And the land to pay for it, which is why they didn't take the Esper Sentinel. We will see. Fatal push. Yeah, figured. You're going to pay for it, I'm assuming, so I don't draw a card. Yeah. Yep, I have... Esper Sentinel feels, like, so bad. I haven't drawn a single card, but it. I guess it's... Oh, my God, come on. Uh, Here, at this point, I think we just kind of pass. Right, if they have a Force of Despair, we, we get boned on running out all those creatures. All right, so they got a Mistress Factory. They're about to get a Saga token. What do we get? Gleeful. Uh, 
That does not let us cast Knight Errant. Uh, so I think we will do it, though. It'll let us set up for Knight Errant for next turn, assuming that they don't just kill the board. Or just kill the Thopter. Yeah, Fatal Push the Thopter. Make, make me sad. All right, this is this is a sad start here. Okay. Yep, make a token. That makes sense. The rack. Oh, it's eight rack. What? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, it's not going to hurt me this turn. Because I don't have less than that. Oh. I think we just concede here. Uh, it, it's just been too slow. Uh, so I think we bring take out the containment priests and put in two silence. In the hope that we have A, more lands. And so this will give us a little protection when we're trying to gleeful. All right, this is much better. This lets us go very wide. And we can just run into a, draw into a, a power piece later. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right, so next turn we'll have, oh, hi Thoughtseize, they're gonna take the Gleeful. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. Untap, draw. What do we get? Sacred Foundry. Yeah, we're going to shock it in. Epicure. Yep. Swing with the Volro uh the Epicure boy, girl, vampire. And I think we also do the uh, Novice Inspector. We'll hold back on the Mem Knights. I don't want to put it all out there. I just don't know what to do here. Uh, now would be a good time to play the Rack, if you got it. I'll take some damage there. It'd be nice to get a Bushwhacker or something this turn coming up. Payoff card would be nice. What are you playing? Is it going to give all my creatures minus two, minus two, or something? Do, 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 do. Brutality. All right, so they gained some life and got rid of the novice inspector for some reason. Arid Mesa. Not what I wanted to see this turn. Uh, let's go ahead and crack the Arid Mesa for a mountain. And I say we go ahead and do the clue thing. A Luxodon. Okay, we can Luxodon next turn. I now wish I would have waited till later to do that. if they have another thought seize that's okay all right that's that's less bad unless they have the thought seize now yeah that's bad payoff card gone the rack is now on how much what's the total we can lose uh we can lose up to three so we're gonna lose two next turn and our mana base is a little painful We don't have any white cards to pitch for this. So I think we just hold it. Just keep swinging. Because 
if I hold this, we'll lose at least one life next turn. They're going to want to make a construct here. Uh, they're going to get another rack also. Can't believe there's modern eight rack. Yeah, they're making a construct, and they're probably going to get another rack. And I'm going to take two next turn. Yeah. And, of course, that's a 3-3. Three, three. Yep. Unfortunate. The lands, the lands are hurting. So if I play it, I can have a couple plus twos. I feel like I need something better. Esper Sentinel. If I hold the force for the Esper Sentinel, They have two cards in hand. They're swinging for three a turn. I would take double rack damage. I think I just hold the cards and I hold the creatures. And this is a rough one. Yeah, Inquisition again. Maybe I should have played the, the Sentinel. Are you fucking giving me another Thoughtseize? As soon as I saw them tap it, I knew it. I knew as soon as I saw it. All right, I'm going to take four damage next turn. Like, how, how did they just have it like that? Could Daltha rebirth? It's too late. It's just it's just too late. We're done. All right, uh, we lost to eight rack. Uh, so we're one, two. It's weird that we ran across eight rack. Uh, we at least had the game one on it. Or I'm sorry, one one, not one two. But super weird that we had the uh, that that we came across eight rack. Uh, all right, we'll go into game three, see where we end up. All right, we are in game number three here. I won the dice roll. Uh, I would like to play first. Yes. Don't know why. It, don't know why it took me so long to to select yes on that. What do we get? We got the rebirth. Lux Dawn. Let's keep this. I think we wait. We just play that and wait. Okay, they're on red. So they're not going to hurt us that much right now oh man that was just crazy that that eight rack game has me like shook still because i'm still coming off of that like dang son all right cool so we have two zero cost spells now Let's go ahead and Kadaltha. Let's go for the Memnite. If they. Okay, it just happened. Sunbaked Canyon. Luxodon. Boom, 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 boom. And the white. Boom. Oh, look at all that power. Turn two, we have one, six, ten power. <laughs> 10 power on boy board, uh, and then we can uh, Goblin Bushwhack next turn. If we draw another land, we could uh, Gleeful the Thopter and Bushwhack just for a ton. I don't even know what this person's playing. Ten of the Bugbear's weird. Helm's Deep? Flame slash, boo. How dare you run interaction? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. 
What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Another land? Another land would be fun. Hey, <laughs> it's another land. All right. Oh, they're running red, so I'm going to respect the fact that they're in red. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kill that Ornithopter. Unless they... A, and then we can cast with Kicker. All right, we are Hellbent. But we are swinging for a ton here. Look at all these gobos. Wham! Down to three. Enjoy it. <laughs> uh, turn three, 17 damage. Yeah. Not bad. I don't know what they're doing still, though, so that's a little concerning, but... Uh, let's bring in our protected against fire. Uh, I say we just take out two force of virtue. Uh, let's take out one force of virtue and one rebirth. S somehow rebirth is the worst card in this deck. <laughs> that was fun though. Oh, that was fun. But just, just, it's just weird. Like, we're just coming across... Like, have I just not played Modern enough lately? To just be coming across all these decks that are running cards that I'm not familiar seeing? Like, what's going on? Or is it, like, because there's a ban announcement coming up, nobody wants to run anything special? Uh, we're keeping this. This is a fun one. Uh, I think we Esper Sentinel first. Is this goblins? A ragavan. Hoo hoo hoo. Sorry, listening to the Scott Pilgrim. Oh, there's a payoff card. All right, I think we change our plan a little bit and we play a Volton Epicure because I don't care if we block with that and it dies. Uh, Esper Sentinel, I feel, would be a little better to block with, or uh, to play second. Because uh, that would be, what, four? If, if this Epic here lives, uh, they're... Stomp? Is this red good stuff? Like, what is this? What you, what you doing over there? What you crafting? What got... Uh, must have been a land that got exiled. Oh, Force of Virtue. They can't even play it. Cool. That would have been nice to though. Like, I could have done the Force of Virtue thing with an Esper Sentinel out. All right, cool. Upkeep. Let's go ahead, get a mountain. Mount hand. All right. We can Esper Sentinel. And then I think we just Gleeful here. Well, I guess we could have Esper Sentinel twice. All right, so that's four. And then we can Knight Errant next turn. Yeah, if they only have targeted removal, that's really good for me. If they have sweepers, that's not as good. Sweepers are probably going to be more expensive, though. Hmm. Own it. Do your thing. Oh, dang. This, the soundtrack that's got Pilgrim vs. the World is just... The, the non-animated one is just fantastic. I just listen to that every every chance I get. 
Universal has it up. Blast Zone on one. Oh, no. All right, so they're going to blow up. Well, so if they Blast Zone, though, they kill their own Ragavan. And they don't kill my Goblins? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Blast Zone's okay. Because it'll be an emergency ripcord for them. Yeah, that, though, on the other hand. Are you going to pay it? Are you going to pay it? Are you going to pay it? They're paying it with the Blast Zone. Okay. So they're going to cast it on zero. I will block that monkey. Yeah. Okay, so you sack a treasure. Pop the explosives. Yep, that makes sense. I'm hearing voices, animal noises. All right. I will block this every time. I guess you have a lightning bolt or something? No? Okay. What are you playing now? Another Ragavan? Another Ragavan. All right. So we don't get to do the thing. Uh, let's play another Esper Sentinel. All right. We're not going to pour the board out. And if you want to pop the blast zone and kill the Ragavan, that's fine. Oh, you can't pop it. Yeah. Cool. This just seems like just a, a red deck wins kind of a deck. This monkey is doing work, though. They also, they're also also taking a long time to make their decisions. I, I feel like it should be boom, 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 boom. I, I haven't had like a very huge board with them. Oh, they stole an Ornithopter. Play it. Do it. Free blocker. Ooh, excuse me. What do we get? Another land. All right, what sucks here is I think I have to cast the Bushwhacker without kicking it. I should have probably kicked it because I can't even do the Knight Errant thing. Ugh. What's nice with the deck, though, everything's so low that Knight Errant is... Uh, surprisingly, like, you just need one creature to convoke with, and you can get anything except for Luxodon and Knight Errant, so. That's nice. Basically, you can get anything except payoff cards. If they, if they just kill this Bushwhacker right away, then I'm just, I think I'm just gonna be done. I think he's, what are you playing for four damage? Five mana. What is five mana? What what is five mana? Oh bosh. Let's see here. Uh I think we concede here. We're just so far behind because they've just been able to deal with everything that we have. Uh Containment Priest doesn't feel too bad. I think I just go down more forces and we'll pick up one more Containment Priest. And I think that's just it. And yes, we'd like to play first. Uh, that's a no land hand. I wish we had a land in there. Uh, yeah, this looks good. 
that's a keep. It's potentially a turn. Uh, let's put Gleeful back. Potentially a turn to Night Errant. Let's see here. Tap land. Play tap land. Play tap land. Aw. Oh. You're going to bolt it, aren't you? No, you're going to Ragavan. Ooh, boy. All right. I like that you Ragavaned. All right. So let's play that. Hit the clue token. That's four. Play the Memnite. Let's reload. Yep. Oh boy, let's get a Luxodon and a Goblin Bushwhacker. Okay, what a reload. So we should be able to, if we Bushwhacker, that's a decent play. I kind of don't want them to get to four or to three mana because that's when Anger of the Gods comes online, right? And if they're playing Obosh, they need odd, odd mana value things, which is right, which explains the uh, the stomping thingy, the modal spell. Flame Slash here would be up. Unfortunate. Okay. Sure. Yeah, if if you're going to get me with the uh, lightning bolt, that's fine. I will block this. I feel like that's a decent trade. That's like one of your biggest card advantages. Wow, okay. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Uh, so options here. I could Bushwhacker. That'd be what? One, two, six, eight, ten. Oh my god, okay, so much. Let's just load out. If they don't have anything to stop this, I think this is just a turn three kill. Yeah. Combat. Do I win? It's going to be close. Exaxes. I mathed it right. Whew. All right. So that was clutch uh, against against the uh, mono. Is it mono red mid range? I think that's what it seems like. Uh, but we're two two one though. Two one. That's pretty decent at this point. Uh, from here though, we can go into the next match and see if we're getting a treasure chest or if we're gonna keep fighting. All right. We are now in match number four. We won the dice roll. We love winning the dice roll. We got no lands, though. No lands number two. Oh, boy. I don't like having a mulligan this much. No lands number two is really bad. Uh, lands are us, but we have the Kadaltha Rebirth and the Memnite. Let's put two cards back. Huh? Let's put the Sunbaked Canyon back. And I think we put the Arid Mesa back. And we say done. Rhinos. Fantastic. The Rainbow Rhinos. So my time frame here is limited. What, we have about turn three? 
and they're going to have access to turn one ley line of the void or um not the void easy beats let's play this tapped for now uh, what's, the, what's the ley line that they uh, I don't know the removals the removal ley line crashing footfalls has entered the chat <clears throat> ornithopter do I want to do Let's go ahead and ornith uh, get rid of the Ornithopter for the Cadaltha Rebirth. Yeah. So it'll be three, four, and five. Ah, I should have probably done it last turn. All right, Suspend comes off. Uh, I bet this is... If this is a Scion to Draco, I'm going to be so sad. They just have it. Every single, every, every single time they have it. This might not be working out for us. We're going to try. Let's go ahead and Luxodon. Yeah, this is just going to be a hard matchup. Yeah, uh, we're done here. They've got too much of a lead on us. see here oh the relic warden will be good here these virtues come out uh, silence I think is good here as well I think that's good Yeah, we're going to go first. Uh, we have lots of sideboard cards. None of mana. Let's keep it. All right, because we can try to Esper Sentinel here. Throw this in. Yeah, this is this is a rough matchup. Just because they're so aggressive at times. What do we get? A gleeful. Alright, let's swing in. So I can get three, but that's not going to help me. I need another land. And I think I get that by trying to keep Esper Sentinel in play. Because anything they play next, it's going to pop Esper Sentinel for me at least. Unless it's a stupid ley line of binding or whatever it is. And they only have to... Okay, it's a Scion of Draco. All right. Well, luckily it's not all colors and... We have a Gleeful Demolition here to kill it. Uh, if I go back and look at the footage and I see that I had Gleeful in hand while they had Scion out, I'm going to be so sad. Land would have been nice too. So let's go ahead and just Gleeful that. I think that's just like how we win. It's just by killing that thing off. All right. Unfortunately, like we're not hitting lands. And now they have their their good spells, right? Yeah, here they're going to cascade. Yep. And we get the Esper Sentinel trigger. Hey, we hit a land. Just a little a little late. I swear if it's another land. Okay. 
This is about to be sad. How do we do this? I can Esper Sentinel to get the Leon and take out the Shardless. I mean, I guess I could Gleeful too to take out the Shardless. Oh, I'm just not getting anything that I really need. Let's get a Sacred Foundry. I know it lowers my clock a little bit. I think we just have to, like, try and just... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yep. Go ahead, take that. Yes, we want to use the ability. All right, and they're just going to hit us with the Rhino. Yep, yeah, I think we just take it here. All right. If they cascade again, it's going to be sad times. It looks like it's a sad time. We'll play it out. I don't... I don't see us winning this, though. Draw me a card. Uh, not great. Not fantastic. Sunbaked Canyon. That's bad. All right, so what do I do here? I could Esper Sentinel my own, or a Gleeful my own Esper Sentinel. Convoke, take enough damage to die. Play two Bushwhackers unkicked. They got Trample. Yeah, I'm just dead. Good game, opponent. All right, so we're 2-2. Two -two. Uh, the Rhinos proved to be very difficult for us. Uh, yeah, we weren't even able to win a single game there. Uh... Let's go on to game number five and see what we got. Okay, we are now at game five. We won the dice roll. I think we won the majority of the dice rolls. No land hand again. Killed on us. These no land hands hurt. Uh, this will work, though. I think that's a turn to uh, Luxodon. And we get Luxodon into Luxodon into Luxodon. So that's fun. Uh, assuming that the opponent doesn't have early interaction. So let's see here. Yeah, we're going to keep this one. I think we put down a Luxodon. And we got at least two, two Luxy boys. Fortunately, though, we got to take a little bit of damage on this. And pass the turn. Okay, opponent, what are you on? Are you on the Yog? Always on the Yog, right? Burn, it looks like, maybe? Cool, cool. Uh, if I Gleeful, we're just going to try it. Okay, they let it resolve. That's good. Okay, Luxodon. Surveil land. Blue-white, surveil land. Okay, this is a blue-white control deck. It would be fun to get another Luxodon down. Make this one a 5-5, five five. get it out. Pure Steel Paladin. Okay, I know what this is now. Uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I think we whack this. I think we whack this now. Uh, a 
attack with all. Right, we do this. They have to block, I believe. <laughs> or they don't block and they just get effed in the A. Oh, my God. Okay. So, this is hammer. This is oo woo hammer. So, we want to take those oo woos away. Yeah, so the Relic Warden is going to be good. I haven't played against Hammer in a long time. That, that's what threw me off. Whew, that was explosive. Turn 3, 19 damage. <laughs> Teach you to crack that fetch. Yeah, that was a good call. Good call, Bill. The uh, the Luxodon was a good one, too. Turn three format, guys. Turn three format. There's potential here. I think the sideboard needs work, though. I don't know how big... Uh, thought sees is in the format right now. Like the eight, the eight rack deck really made me sad. Um, yeah, I, I think if you put in um, Leyline of Sanctity, that might help a bit. Let's see here. I think we keep this. I don't know how much interaction they're going to be running. But they're running basic planes with the Gither runes, so... And an Ornithopter. Hey, you know who else has an Ornithopter? Me. Oh, and there's an Epicure. Okay. Uh... Let's go ahead and play an Inspiring Vantage. Crack it, play the Epicure, pass the turn. Mm, we can at least throw our Ornithopter up next turn. Uh, give her runes, let's in, do colorless. All right, so we got that. Sunbaked Canyon, come on, guys. All right, uh, how do? First we do this. Metal craft, as long as you control three or more artifacts. They have one here. I'm thinking how, how slow I need to take this. Okay. So Kadolta Rebirth can only target my stuff, so I think we hit the blood token. Now here I can either Luxodon and potentially get Got. How can I get Got? Metalcraft. Metalcraft can get me. I think I have to Gleeful their Ornithopter right now. And then next turn play my uh, Luxodon or, or Verdant. Or Knight Errant, I should say. So I think I kill it. Because this puts them off of Metalcraft and it prevents them from having a flyer to beat me with. Now they could have pitched spells. Oh, mother of runes. Poop. I forgot about that. 
I would have been better off doing a Luxodon or a Knight Errant. That sucks. Also sucks that they're at sorcery speed and I can't just instantly take out things, so. All right, so they're not there yet. They are throwing a hammer out. If they have another hammer, I think it's just ouchies. Okay, so but they're not. They don't have another hammer. So that's good. Esper Sentinel, that's a good draw. All right, let's go ahead and do an Esper Sentinel. Let's reload. Pay white. That, 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 that. What else can I get? Ooh, that's good. I think we get both. And that's a t for target creatures? Yeah. Let's keep them off of Metalcraft. Okay, yeah, I want to keep them off Metalcraft. I kind of want to take them. Yeah, we're going to use that ability. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if they have removal. All right, so there's another Ornithopter. Another land. I think they would have done the thing last turn if they had okay cool 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 that's another ornithopter uh we are definitely doing this again and we're going to take the urza saga okay make your construct like you have metalcraft now, but you don't go get to go get a hammer. Uh, how do I want to do this? Let's do the Esper Sentinel. One, two, three. Uh, let's get one in the air. All right, we're help bent. We might be able to draw a card next turn. I think it's just a big waiting game right now. Whew. All right, so they get their blue source. Now they do have their, let's see here. All right, so they can equip their hammer fairly cheaply. They, I don't think they can equip things at flash speed. Oh, man. Solitude. Gross. Yeah, they're probably going to take... Oh, they're taking out the wrong one. They should have taken out the Leon or the Relic Warden, or whatever it is here. Glad that they evoked it, though. Yeah, they should have taken out this one, because they could have they could have had a hammer in play. Let's see, they have one card in hand. If it's a hammer, I'm going to be upset. <laughs> What game? I don't even remember what game this is. Oh, no. They're about to get a bunch of hammers. All righty. Gleeful Demolition does not help me here. So they can make another construct to pump their other constructs and have two big blockers. They won't have enough 
to actually kill those blockers though. Let's try to draw a card. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Alright, so they won't be able to kill my stuff if I just attack with these two. And I leave a lot of stuff back for as blockers, right? Yeah, I figured you were going to do that. Are you going to block both? Because that'd make me feel good if you blocked both. You should block both. Or you just take eight damage? Okay. All right, so they're gonna start tutor up something. And they're gonna make another Karn strip. Just a lot of Karn strips. I cannot let this thing die. Shadow Spear, not cool. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna We're gonna kinda just let that through. No reason in blocking that right now. Okay, so we can Gleeful. All right, cancel. I want to make sure I'm targeting the Shadow Spear. So let's go ahead and Gleeful that. I really wish this was instant speed removal. <laughs> instant speed removal on artifacts would be nice here. And then I think I'm just going to make more tokens with the Ornithopter. Uh, and then I think I just pass here. I think they only run one Shadow Spear. If they run two, then I'm just SOL. But I have enough blockers that I can I can kind of fend off a bit. They have three cards in hand too. What's going on over there? I wish I had another Ornithopter though, honestly, to be able to block Ornithopters with hammers. That's how that's that's a good way for me to lose this, actually. <laughs> hmm. Like my my board is huge. Ginger Butte. They don't run Agatha Agatha's Soul Cauldron, do they? That'd be spicy. Right, because the giver of runes would that ability would go to everybody that had a counter. You could ginger what? All right, cigar is aid. Yep, draw me a card, please. Another land for the love of God. All right, if they if they attack here, that means that they've got they've got it in hand. Oh, but they don't have mana for it. That's silly. All right. Another Esper Sentinel. I need like more interaction here. Like every every second that I'm not doing something, they're they're hurting me. I I need like a bushwhacker or something to make these hit harder. All right, so if they have a hammer in hand, I think I'm just toast. Because they should just go to combat here and swing with whatever. Or they can pure steel. 
Okay. Makes me think they don't have a hammer. Yeah, they don't. What they exile? Another cigar to Zade. Ah, there's your hammer. Shouldn't you should have done this during combat? They should have really done that during combat. Yeah, this is not looking great. Okay. Uh-huh. And you're going to make it unblockable now, right? I would make it unblockable. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Good job. You're learning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. And you can reassign the equip cost? No. Let's threaten a pump spell. Yeah, I'm just dead here no matter what. Yeah, you're going to block my big guys. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. What are you, what all are you blocking? Yeah. Oh my god, they're digging rubber. I'm up like two minutes compared to them right now. Yeah, our boards just got too big for me to like be able to punch through. Yeah, wish I had a pump spell. Yeah, concede this match here. All right, let's go back to sideboarding. Relic Warden is okay. Containment Priest, I, I wish it was something, yeah, I don't think Containment Priest is right here. If a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it wasn't cast, exile it, but evoke is a, is evoke cast? That's, I have to look that up. What is he evoked? Horary. Let's see here. Gives you the ability to cast the creature card for an alternative cost. You may cast this spell. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it is a cast. So Containment Priest doesn't work. Uh, I think Silence is probably bigger here. Uh, I kind of want to go down Mem Knights. Ornithopters let me at least block in the sky. Uh, nope. Kinda, maybe. Let's mulligan once. No land. No land. Fantastic. I don't. I don't like that. I don't have land. Other hand was too slow. This one has no land. Are you keeping seven or are you mulliganing? Ugh. Sorry, everybody. Come on. 
Come on, friendo. Figure it out, please. I, this league has just been crazy to me. Like I'm seeing a bunch of stuff I haven't seen in forever. Like the Obosh deck. It's just crazy. We're going to mulligan this. All right, we have turn plays. Let's keep this. Put two cards back. Uh, I think we do that. All right, Thraben boy. All right, see, we can get a board this way. Hmm. All right. Did he mulligan too? Yeah, he did, didn't he? Yeah, he mulliganed to six. <sighs> oh, sorry. My opponent is just taking so long. It's like 2 a.m. for me here. Just trying to finish this league out. <clears throat> If I can if I can get fast here. Oh, the tap land. Yes, thanks. If a second land would be clutch or a zero cost creature. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. Can you just pick what you want? Come on, this is like painful. Land or zero cost creature, please. Take your upkeep. Hey, land, perfect. Yes, shock it. And then we get Bushwhacker for next turn. All right, what do we got here? Uh, more Bushwhackers, another Novice Inspector. I kind of want the Bushwhacker and Ornithopter to kind of max damage next turn and the turn after, right? Like, if I can if I can Bushwhacker two turns in a row, I think I win. Uh, if they have Solitude, that'll be upsetting. Or Subtlety. Subtlety and Subtlety would be bad to see. Give her a runes, okay. Give her runes number two, electric boogaloo. Please, please. Oh my God, please. Mm, Esper Sentinel. Cast, ornithopter number two. Cast with kicker. Boom, boom. Come on. All right, all right. Looking good so far. So they could solitude still with the Knight Errant. They probably would have solituded already. All right, here we go. Come on. All right, they're down to four. So they had a slow start. Uh, is there any way? I don't think they win from here. <clears throat> Let's see, what do you get? St Pure Steel Paladin, okay. And a hammer. Oh, you may draw a card. Okay. No blockers, please. I'm just I'm hoping that they just didn't draw an ornithopter, you know. 
because uh, assuming I can get this bushwhacker to resolve, I get the uh, they don't have enough blockers. Actually, I think even with the bushwhacker resolving, they don't have enough blockers, or without it resolving. But we want to make sure. Second Sentinel. All right, come on. Let's punch through. Fuck yeah, we did it. All right, we went 3-2. Official score. Um, and then... All right, so... Looking at it here, um, Rhinos, obviously, was a really bad matchup for us. Uh, they were just able to get bigger and wide fast. Um, I forget. Oh, and 8-Rack. Eight 8-Rack eight was just... It's, it's designed to kill decks like ours. Uh, so, overall performance, I feel good, though. Uh, the deck itself... Let's go look at the deck itself. Just do a quick recap. Uh, yeah, overall felt pretty good. The Forces of Virtue, I never cast once. I don't think I would. I feel like it's kind of slow, honestly, at times. Um, because I'd much rather cast the Esper Sentinel or get the Novice Inspector, Thraben Inspector in. Maybe I would go down to and go up a Thraben Inspector and Novice Inspector. Uh, because then I would be able to hit that turn one more consistently. Um, that turn one gleeful artifact, then you do your, your payoff. Um, sideboard, I feel like, needs some work, though. Um, right, Relic Warden, or Relic Warder. Oh, my God, I've been calling it Warden. My bad. Um, would be a lot. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um... I feel like it needs some hate for the uh, Cascade decks, right? Like Chalice of the Void in here would be great. Si the Silence is good. Um, it's just we never drew it when we needed it. Uh, but, but yeah, overall, um, fun deck. I think it would be a really good FNM deck. Uh, outside of that, the like it's like seventy-seven bucks. Like it's a super cheap deck. <laughs> Um, so perfect to go and dick around at F and M. Uh, let's go into here and see what our uh, what we got in our loot chest. Uh, we got curse of surveillance, chain reaction, and Kethic crucible Goliath. I don't know. And five play points. Boo. Um, doesn't look like anything great. Uh, but hey, I'm up to 190 play points. I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I will talk to you all in the next one. Have a good one. And if you like the content, comment, like, subscribe, and have fun. Oh, right. And keep calm and spike on.